What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Cheetah, viewed from the side, the head. <clears throat> so sort of a portrait. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and eraser for these and hit pause if I go too fast. We start with the eye. So we're just gonna go up from the center point. So center point of my page is about here. We'll just come up and we're gonna start the eye along this section, right? So we're in like the top half. So let us go, All right? So we're so close, we can kind of see the eyelashes of this cheetah, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do like some spiking sort of lines that go across here, okay? So it's like a zigzag, just sort of coming across like so, right? So the back of this kind of curves down just here. And then the black part of the eye We'll go down around to there. So the cheetah has a black line that runs down the face, right? So this starts to go this way, right? It starts to travel down here, but we won't know where to stop until we do the mouth, right? So I'll just do it like that for the time being. And then the iris and the, you know, the colored part of the eye is looking to the right. So it's like here. Okay, and it kind of like curves around this section. This will all be black. And then it goes up the back underneath the eyelashes there. And then we're looking over this way. So the iris is, or the pupil is kind of just this kind of long sort of circle back here. So it's kind of at the back of the eye. Make it a bit bigger. Until it sort of makes sense. Okay. So then, all black in here. And we're gonna, I'll add a sort of a V sort of thing here, right? And I'll color this black, but it's all going to be black eventually, right? All the way down to like his mouth. So it's all just dark in here, okay? So let me some details around. So we got like a top sort of eyelid line just coming across. And some like hair that goes down the back of the face this way. Then we have another little line underneath the eye, so it like comes down here. Something like that. So in cheetahs have this sort of eyelash shape. Most big cats do, it's like this hairy kind of eyebrow thing here. Now I'm doing it sort of sketchy and light. I'm not sort of filling it in with a straight line. And then you'll have a bit of an eyebrow. They're very furry creatures, right? But there's a bit of an eyebrow sort of shape here. Okay. So we'll do this. So we'll go, I was saying we're, we're gonna do the mouth first, but I think we'll actually do this line. It's kind of easier. So this sort of black line curves itself and it can be a furry hairy line down towards the mouth. And so it goes down like that, okay? <clears throat> and then the snout, just across from the eye here, right? Like so, and you're about an eye width, like, so say like from here to here, this width will bring you over to where the snout is from the back of the iris, not like to here, it's like this width. Bring you, bring you over, you'll roughly fit that eye across here again. And that's where, how you know where to put the snout. So then the snout will go down, like that. And then we have the black part of his nose. So this kind of sticks out like a little bump and then curves back in like so. You've got this little V at the bottom. 
and then a black curve back here. And then the top of the nose goes up, down in the middle. It's like a letter M sort of shape. Like so. And then our details for the nose. So we got like this center sort of line that runs up. That way. And then we have the nostrils themselves. So like goes up, around. down the back right and in here is just black I forgot to mention as well if you want underneath the eye right you can add a sort of a, a shadow like here with some hatching lines so like just like a shadow just to make it look a little bit three-dimensional just coming down just makes it look like there's a shadow underneath the iris kind of thing like that. Okay. Now, so the mouth shape then comes down from the nose, right? So the center comes down this way. And it can be a hairy, furry line. And the mouth will go back this way. Right, and the other side of the lip that hangs down, so just here. Like that. And then the chin. Again, hairy. line like so and we have a black sort of gum in here right so then all this in here is black okay so a few more details on the snout right so we've got like this brow sort of area that comes along here and kind of curves around the middle and eventually goes up the head okay and then we have a line for the middle of the snout, just coming down there, and then <clears throat> sort of the side of the nose, right? So, and it's mostly these just hatching sort of furry lines, hair lines, coming down this way. Right. And we've got like a cheekbone. There, and like the side of the mouth. Just giving some shape to the face, right? Bit of a shadow underneath his lip here. Okay, so the other side of the the forehead, just here, right, kind of sticks out and goes back this way, right? Again, very hairy, all the way back towards the ear, right? So that's like the top of the head, and then you'll have some texture lines just inside, following, going that way. We can see some of the eye on the other side, so like the eyelash level, <clears throat> kind of in line with this one, right? So it kind of sticks out here. It's sort of dark on this side. And then the eye just comes down here. <clears throat> I 
you can't really see much. You can just see like the shadow of the virus, sort of. Well, it's mostly black. Yeah, I'm just going to color this black. Right? I'm going to leave a bit of a highlight just in here. It's better that it's in shadow anyway. And then some of this. sticks out like so okay so then the rest of the neck right so we got like all this hair running down real real furry down here right and then the fur for the the head right it goes down around here and this will eventually come up start to travel up around to the ear around the head this way okay and the ear so the ear is like here. So we draw this in. And at the back here, you might have some furry parts. And then I'll meet this section at the back of the head. All right, so that's like our overall shape. Right, and then we have some fur that comes across the ear at the front. So again, like hairy, sort of sketchy lines. And then the inside lines of the ears, just sort of following around here. And you could do some more sort of textures and stuff in here if you want. Just following the head. Okay. Right, so then we have some fur inside the ear, so just on the edge here. Just some spikes, some hairy spikes here. And then of course, some on the inside. Kind of be a bit of a shadow inside there. Okay, and then the back of his neck, so it comes down from the top part of the ear here, and they're furry short spikes. You could do a straight line if you wanted. But we'll just make it a sort of furry creature like that, right? And then we'll do some lines just for neck, muscles and things. So like some hair, textures, like maybe the shoulder sort of here. You know, just sort of highlighting some of the musculature. Textures and stuff, very important. Fur. Right, so the thing that makes big cats like this sort of stand out is their spots, right? So we've got to do that and it takes a bit of time because there is a lot. So we're going to start with the face. And generally, cheetahs have this kind of 
a line of spots coming down from the corner of their eye, right? So like you can do them kind of perfectly circular or kind of sketchy. To make them look a bit more realistic, I would recommend like sketchy like this because it's kind of mixed in with the hair. So this is what you're kind of going for, okay? some on the cheeks here, smaller ones. So we've got some whiskers, right? So we've got some lines on the mouth. So these dots that come down this way. And then some larger dots on the neck, good few of them. And they get kind of bigger as we go down. Okay, and then any details you want to add after that, like whiskers we can do. It's surprising how much I forget whiskers. And of course, if you're coloring this guy orange, these would be done in white. Okay, but I think that'll do. That's how to draw a cheetah from the side. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.